The purpose of today's video is to explain a little bit about Dragon 16. So here we go. Let's open up Dragon 16. I'm going to go ahead and open up my command and control user, which is a user that is mostly for the disabled. Once my user profile loads, the first thing that you'll notice is on the dragon bar, you see only tools and settings. Under tools, you'll see the dragon pad, which is your basic average place that you can go and test what you add to the system or general dictation that you want to do. The dictation box, which is a place where you can dictate into if you don't want to dictate into the dragon pad directly or into your application or another application directly. Playback and read that are all about playing back something that's been dictated or reading text. Um, transcribe audio is where you go to actually transcribe a recording of digital audio into text, whether that be your voice or the voice of room audio. Um, the auto transcribe folder agent, I believe, has something to do with setting it up so that it automatically transcribes for you. I'm not real versed on that yet, so I'll get back to you on that specific feature. The command center we don't currently use, so we're going to skip over that. The accuracy center... Um, is where you can launch accuracy tuning. I generally allow it to tell me when it wants to do accuracy tuning, but you can certainly launch it yourself. You still have to have enough information in the system in order to be able to run accuracy tuning. Okay. Um, I've never really played with recognition history. I just opened it up and it doesn't offer me much. So maybe I'll come back to it after I've done some dictation. Back to tools. Um, that was Accuracy Center. Now the Vocabulary Center is where you're going to add a new word or phrase. Where you're going to go to the Vocabulary Editor, which is something we do all the time. So you should know how to get there. Import a list of words or phrases. This is where you're going to import a list of words if you're going to create a new user profile. Um, the next one is exporting custom word and phrase lists. This is what you're going to do on a regular basis so that you can start a new user profile should you need to at any point in time. Um, learn from specific documents is where we feed text documents through Dragon so that Dragon can read them and find new words and also it learns from the context of the text that you provide. Uh, we don't do learn from sent emails and we can go to manage vocabularies that shows us what vocabularies we have in a particular user. We normally don't create multiple vocabularies. Um, but this is something that you can do to increase your accuracy, is create vocabularies within a profile. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to Tools. 
and vocabulary center. The next thing is minimize to tray. I don't want to do that and exit dragon. So we're going to go up and we're going to go over to settings. Um, now listening for it's set to dictation and commands because I'm in my command and control user, meaning that I can control the computer using my microphone. This is something that I'm experimenting with now, not something that I am ready to teach. But um, if it becomes useful to teach it, then I'd be happy to do so. The next thing, um, normally we are listening for simply dictation. If we go down to microphone, we can choose the microphone, check the microphone, or reset um, calibration. When we're choosing the microphone, that's when we're going to actually choose the USB audio device or the USB microphone that we are using. I'm using the VEC GE GN USB desktop microphone. That's what I'm speaking to you on right now. And so that is also what I'm using for this particular user profile. So I'm just going to do finish. I'm going to go back to settings and profile. And if I go to manage user profiles then I can choose to export each of my profiles by clicking on the profile and clicking on advanced and export. I always export my user profiles to a particular place and as you can see I export it by the year so I'm gonna make a new folder for 2023 And that is where I'm going to save this user profile. This is my primary user profile for my mask with a low volume voice. So it's important that I keep this user profile. The next profile here is the backup to the previous profile. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The next one is um, a test of a headset that I no longer have, so I'm going to delete that user profile and its backup. Auto transcribe is what I use to transcribe auto, audio of other people's voices like room audio. So I am going to export that though I don't know what benefit it is to export it. I'm going to export it just because I'm exporting all my other user profiles. <clears throat> so um, Some of these user profiles are for some of my customers. So I'm going to go ahead and export their profiles as well. If I'm not using them right now, but might use them in the future. So I've gone ahead and exported that profile. Now I'm going to delete it because I don't need it. This is a profile for a Dragon headset. I'm going to go ahead and export that.
I'm not sure what this mask is, but the newest SC is from one of my reporters, so I don't want to lose that. I'm going to export this mask. And then I'll delete it. I'm going to export. This is one of this is my Bluetooth headset. It's a backup because I don't know what happened to my primary user. Okay, so I have exported all of my user profiles. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one that says Turtle Beach Headset. Um, I'm going to export it one more time to make sure that it is there. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And now I'm going to show you how to import a user profile. We're going to go to Advanced and Import. And then we're going to path to where that profile is. And here's my Turtle Beach headset. <clears throat> and there we go. Now if I want to rename something, I can click on it and click on Rename. And let's say I want to remove the word Backup because it's no longer my Backup. And I'll click on OK, and there we go. So these are my primary users. See this? Let me export this user profile. And I will go ahead and delete this one because I don't need it right now. And there we go. So it's all cleaned up. These are just the ones that I want right now. I'm going to rename this.
So now I've cleaned up all of my user profiles so that I only have what I specifically want on there. And now I can close. <clears throat> if I want to um, export a word list, I would go to Tools, Vocabulary Center, Export Custom Word and Phrase List. <clears throat> no custom words were found in the current vocabulary because I'm in command and control. So if I go to tools, no settings, profile, open user profile, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open the AccuSpeak SB Play 3 because that is a very active profile. <clears throat> So now I'm going to go to Tools, Vocabulary Center, Expert, Export, Custom, Word, and Phrase List. It's going to come up and ask me what I want to call it. This is my mask word list. Put my initials in front of it so I know that it's mine. Now, if I go to Tools, Vocabulary Center, Export Custom Word and Phrase List again, and there's the word list I just created. Now I can click on the drop down and choose XML and just remove the .txt from the file name because this one's going to be an XML and I'm going to hit save and that's going to save that list for me in a format that makes it easy for me to bring it back in. So now that I have exported my user profiles, I've imported a user profile, I've exported a word list. Let me go ahead and import a word list. So I'll go to Tools, Vocabulary Center, Import List of Words or Phrases. And I'm going to go ahead and preview the list. I'll go to Next, Add File, and I'm going to go ahead and import this word list, this XML word list. I'm going to click on Next and Next. No new words were found. I must have already brought that in. So I'll click on Finish and I'm going to go back to Tools, Vocabulary Center, and I'm going to go to vo Open Vocabulary Editor. At the bottom of this screen, Next to display, I'm going to click on the drop down and click on custom words only. This is going to bring up my words, the words that I have added into the vocabulary via my word list. So there's still lots of more, more word lists that I can add. So I'm going to close this up. I'm going to go to tools, vocabulary center, import list of words or phrases and I'm going to preview the list of unknown words. I'm going to go to next and add file. And here in my list of words, I have all sorts of things. So, I have a cart list. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. Click on Next and Next, and I'll see what is here. Let's see, so we have some duplicates here. So I'm going to check all, and then I'm going to uncheck things that um, are duplicates. Well, I might have them in there for a reason as duplicates, so let me not uncheck them. 
I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And I'm going to go ahead and check all and train these words. Sammy. Sammy. Okay, I can't do this because I'm using the same microphone for training that I'm using to create the video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on finish. And I'm going to go to tools and vocabulary center and open vocabulary editor and display custom words only and you'll see that I've added a whole bunch of cart phrases on top of what I had. I now have multiple speeds but that's okay it's just the speed 6 and speed 7 so that should be fine. I have my untrans through 30 or 29 it looks like I've got my punctuation and some words um, that I obviously had trouble with so that's good I've done some good stuff what I need to do now is I need to go to settings profile and save user profile I want to make sure that I save that user profile so that everything that I've added is going to be there the next time that I want to go and access it. So, um, that is Dragon 16 in a nutshell. Now that that's complete, we can close the Manage User Profiles and we can exit Dragon. Keep in mind that in SpeechCat nothing has changed. So all of your tools still look the same. So you can still access Dragon and all of its tools inside of SpeechCat the way you always have. Thanks for watching.